Monday, August 17th, a visitor from California, Missouri registered a 1.32 carat white diamond. Now, to me, it had a lot of color in it, but they call it white, but there's inclusions that make it. See, there's a picture of it, the 132. They call it white, but there's inclusions that give it a color. There's a half carat or 54 point white there. It's got some color to it as well. A 10 point white. An eight point white diamond was registered by a visitor from Hazen, Arkansas on August 19th, 2020. Today is September 3rd, uh, Thursday at noon that I'm recording this. Oh, 141 brown looks pretty. It's a good one. And that three point white is really pretty. The three ways to find diamonds at the crater are surface searching, dry washing, and wet sifting. And in this video at the state park, they'll demonstrate those three methods while we look at the pictures of recently discovered diamonds here. So August 22nd, a visitor from Carrollton, Texas registered a three-point yellow diamond. So it's one thirty-third of a carat. Oh, that's a pretty 15-point white. That's lovely. There's a lovely 12-point white. Beautiful. A visitor from Europa, Mississippi registered that 12-point white we just saw. That's pretty. Friday, August 28th, a visitor from Marion, Iowa registered that 15-point white diamond that's so pretty. Uh, it has a nice shape and a different picture I saw of it, and this is Steve Allender's diamond. It's absolutely gorgeous. I even like the other picture better than the picture up here. Uh, maybe I'll use that picture as the thumbnail for this video so you can see that 15-point white better. Uh, but if you look closely at it, it's got a tiny black trigon on the surface. Oh, so far this year, 219 diamonds have been found as of August 29th. There's the beautiful 2.73 carat white Dempsey Ducharme diamond found July 9th, 2020. And uh, that has recently been cut. And we'll have a press release before about that before long. But uh, watch for that. Oh, that eight point white is really lovely. That's really a pretty diamond. And the 12-point white has a nice shape. It's got a little spot of graphite in it, but uh, not a bad diamond. That 132 white and the 54 white are kind of rough, but uh, these diamonds have been through uh, a hard time. Oh, I think that's Darren's diamond, that 10-point white. I'm pretty sure. So there have been some real beauties found here lately. They're not all bad. It's a shame that three point broke. It would have been at least a five or six. And that 141 brown, that's big and it's pretty. It's got a lovely shape. Three point white's pretty. It's just a small diamond. Then in the video, he's moving a diamond around with the tip of his knife. 12 point white's lovely. So there are the admission cost, and the state park recently increased the daily limit of people that could come in from 800 to 1,000. So they'll probably, after Labor Day weekend, probably never sell out again until March. Now there's a 6.39 carat white diamond. That is huge. They discovered it June 14th, 2020 didn't register it until a few weeks later, but that's when it was discovered. Shortly after the state park had been closed down for two months due to the COVID pandemic. Anyway, you can see uh, what diamonds have been found recently, some real pretty ones. And when you get a chance, come out to the state park. They're open 8 a.m. to 4 p.m., seven days a week, regardless of the weather. So whenever it suits your schedule, come out and uh, search for a genuine USA diamond and their policy here has always been finders keepers so if you find a diamond you get to keep it no matter how big it is so that 639 that was found that's all hers to keep and she was paid a $10 entry fee to get in that day so she 
made a pretty good deal there. Thank you for joining me on our Genuine Diamonds in Arkansas YouTube channel. Please uh, like and subscribe.